Nearly 6 million people in the United States live with Alzheimer's disease, the most common type of dementia. This number is expected to grow by 2060 to 14 million people, and it doesn't account for people living with other forms of dementia, which means even more people will be affected. One in three people over the age of 65 dies with Alzheimer's or another dementia. It's the fifth leading cause of death for older adults in the United States. People can live with the disease for years, experiencing disability and poor health as it progresses. In 2019, healthcare and long-term care costs for Alzheimer's and other dementias totaled $290 billion in the United States. Medicare, state Medicaid programs, private payers, individuals, and families bear these costs, which are expected to rise. From 2017 to 2030, the cumulative costs associated with Alzheimer's are expected to reach $7.7 .7 trillion. Early and accurate diagnosis can improve the quality of life for people with Alzheimer's disease and other dementias and save trillions of dollars in medical and caregiving costs. State budgets need to be prepared for rising costs of Alzheimer's and other dementias. Developed by the CDC and the Alzheimer's Association, the Healthy Brain Initiative Roadmap for State and Local Partners lays out an action agenda recommending systems-level changes to support people living with Alzheimer's and their caregivers. It's referred to as the HBI Roadmap. The agenda is divided into four key areas. 1. Educate and empower. 2. Develop policies and mobilize partnerships. 3. Assure a competent public health workforce. 4. Monitor and Evaluate State and territorial public health professionals, aging agencies, and partners are encouraged to use the roadmap to improve quality health outcomes and cost-effective initiatives. We're lucky. My grandma's doctor noticed the signs of cognitive decline at the same time we did. She was referred to the local memory clinic at the same hospital where she received quality care from doctors familiar with Alzheimer's and other dementias. She continued to decline and exhibit new symptoms. Two years later, she was diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease, mixed dementia, and Parkinson's. She still lives at home, but it's been a significant change for our family. My parents work full-time and visit twice a day to check in, and a group of friends visit weekly. We coordinate adult care pickup and drop-off and make it a priority to attend caregiver support groups to maintain our health and well-being. The public health infrastructure was prepared to support this family by emphasizing and connecting the grandmother and family members to services. Follow the action agenda in the HBI Roadmap to help families in your jurisdiction reach optimal health.